Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learning Engineering Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to select the right type of fans and the blowers and what are the main types of the fans and blowers being used in the industry. Fans basically provide the air for ventilation and exhaust purposes while the blowers enhance the air flow more effectively using an impeller and air foils. And also blower produces the high pressure as value of 1.2 kg. Following are the main purposes of the fans and blowers. Fans and the blowers are mainly used in industries as a vacuum cleaning system for the dust removal system in the combustion unit for the fresh air to transfer the solid material just like bulk powder and for the cooling purposes. Fan and the blowers both have different kinds. The fans are further divided into the axial fan and the centrifugal fan while the axial fan are further divided into the tube axial, vane axial and propeller fan while the centrifugal fan are further divided into the radial fan, forward curved fan and backward curved fan. Similarly, the blowers are further divided into the positive displacement blower and the centrifugal blower. Here you can see the different kinds of axial fans. It is a vane axial, tube axial and propeller axial. Propeller fans. Similarly, the centrifugal fan types, there are the uh, radial blade type, forward curve type and backward curve type. Basically, these categories are based on their impeller design. The types of the blowers are centrifugal blowers and the positive displacement blowers. Centrifugal bl blowers run at the relatively high speed up to the 15,000 rpm and create the operating pressure from 0.35 to 0.7 while the positive displacement blowers produce the speed run at the speed of 3600 rpm with the operating pressure of 1.25 kg the following are the information which required as a input data for the selection of right types of fans or the blowers First, you need to know the composition of gas, the media which is being handled by the fans or the blowers. And what this gas contains, you need to mention here that whether it is dust, moisture or what is the type of the gas, whether it is ammonia or a simple air combination of ammonia or nitrogen gas. Second is the nature of dust, whether it is abrasive or corrosive or you are handling the fertilizer dust or it is a simple solid material. Third is the flow rate of the gas. Fourth is the density of the gas. Fifth is the maximum discharge pressure which is required at the downstream of the blower. Sixth is the temperature of the gas. Seven is the ambient temperature at which the blower will be installed. Eight is the altitude of the plant. It is basically the height at which the blower will be installed and accordingly the suction and the discharge piping network will be the route to that elevation and 9 is the friction losses at the suction and the discharge ducts in, a, in the form of fittings, bends and the flappers. Following are the parameters which are used to assess the performance of the blowers or the fan. First one is the flow rate of the gas. That at what at what value the gas is being handled in the fan or the blower second is the head value that is the pressure drop at the suction and the discharge piping of the blower it, it also includes the friction losses third is the temperature of the gas and fourth is the power requirement for the fan or the blowers in the first step of the performance assessment you need to calculate the gas density and here is the formula to calculate the gas density where T is the temperature of the gas at site conditions. Once you have calculated the gas density, you will use this value 
for the calculation of the velocity in the step 2. In step 3, we will calculate the volumetric flow rate of the gas. And finally, at the last step in, in step 4, we will calculate the efficiency of the fan or the blower using the pre-calculated values. Once we have calculated the, the efficiency of the fan or the blowers, we will cross-check it with the, the standard values. Here you can see that for the blower, the peak efficiency value is, is from 58 to 68, while for the centrifugal fan, it varies from 60 to 83. Similarly, for the axial fan, it varies from 45 to 85 according to their impeller design. So uh, up to now you can uh, you can select the type of the fan uh, or the blowers and you can assess their performance by calculating the efficiency and cross check with the standard values. Following are the strategies which are adopted to optimize the flow of the fan or the blower. First one is the pulley change. Second one is the damper control. Third one is the inlet guide vein control. Fourth is the use of variable speed drive. Fifth is the series or the parallel operation of the fans or the blowers. And sixth one is the washing regime of the impeller or the blower casing. The pulley change uh, impacts is a very significant that if we increase or decrease the diameter of the pulley of the driver side or the driven side, it directly impacts the flow of the blower or the fan. Here in this case you can see that when the pulley size is changed from 8 to 6 inch, we save the power of 12 kilowatt. Damper and the flapper control also play an important role to control the flow of the blower and the fan. Because damper and the flow creates the resistance in the direction of the air, so it directly impacts the flow of the blower or the fan. Similarly, inlet guide vane control also plays an important role to change the characteristics curve of the fan, so it can also be used to change the, the flow at the discharge point of the fan or the blower. In this graph, you can see that there is a, diff there is a comparison of different control mechanism to produce the, the uh, volume of the air at the discharge of the blower or the fan and its impact on the, the power. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, the damper has a very sharp uh, uh, increase in the power requirement while the variable speed drive has a, a smooth increase in the power requirement. So the variable speed drive is the uh, suitable solution to increase the or to adjust the uh, flow of the blower or the fan in comparison to the power requirement. Here are some standard practices which need to be followed to get the improved performance of the fans or the blowers. First is that centrifugal blowers are mostly used for negative pneumatic turning system just like at the downstream of the cyclones or the scrubbers. Second is that Positive displacement blowers are the compressor mostly used for positive pneumatic conveying units just like to transfer the dry powder material from one location to another location and third point as a standard practice is that axial fans are generally used for cooling and air ventilation system just like in the prelink tower, cooling tower, fluidized bed cooler exhaust air system and also we need to develop a washing regime for the fans and the blowers where dust load is high and sometimes there is a requirement to wash the impeller blades and the casing with the lean SD solution to increase or to maintain the efficiency of blower but this is recommended only for the 
material of the blower as the, for the SS material of the blower. And you also need to check and regularly replace the expansion joints and packing of the suction and the discharge ducts to maintain the blower efficiency. At the last you can uh, see that uh, there are standard values uh, which compare the uh, fans, blowers and the compressor. In case of fans, the specific ratio, basically specific ratio is the ratio of discharge pressure over suction pressure and for the case of the fans, uh, it should be up to 1.11. For the blowers, it should be uh, in between 1.11 to 1.20 and for the compressor case it is greater than 1.20